the Four Horsemen. There's been a lingering theory that was all but confirmed with the most recent chapter of Chainsaw Man with the reveal of the Famine Devil. This theory essentially states that Fujimoto, the creator of Chainsaw Man, is modeling the main antagonists of the series after the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. For those of you who don't know what this bit of religious lore is, in a nutshell, the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse are figures in Christianity first appearing in the Book of Revelation. The appearance of the Four Horsemen apparently signals the end of humanity or the end of times. There are many iterations of each individual horseman, each of them carrying various different names throughout various interpretations, but a popular grouping lists them out in order as conquest, war, famine, and finally death. The first horseman, Conquest, aka Control, was introduced in the form of Makima in part one, which then led us to meeting the second horseman, War, which of course is Yoru, the War Devil. Well, in the most recent chapter of Chainsaw Man, we received the official arrival of the Famine Devil, Fami, thus bringing forth the third horseman of the apocalypse. Now, all that's left is Death, the Death Devil. And if you guys stick around until the end of the video, there's a possibility that we've probably seen the Death Devil already. So make sure to stick around until the end so I can kind of explain myself there. But before all that, today I'll be breaking down each one of the four horsemen and talk about their abilities and their motivations in Chainsaw Man. So just sit back and enjoy and find out everything there is to know about the four horsemen theory. The Four Horsemen are the only individuals who still remember the names of devils which have been devoured by the Chainsaw Man, such as the Nuclear Weapons Devil, the World War II Devil, and others. However, it is unclear how far these memories extend. Makima, one incarnation of the Control Devil, could remember the names of the Devoured Devils, but said that even her memories are starting to fade. Despite collaborating together, the Four Horsemen do not appear to be a cohesive unit, with each member having different goals. Makima intended to use Pochita's power to eradicate her fellow horsemen, despite previously battling alongside them against Pochita, and pretty much ridding the world of all things that she deems to be a burden or a parasite on society, and her primary motivation seemed to be to create a world through a forced sense of justice, a forced sense of peace. In contrast, the War Devil's main goal is to make Pochita throw up the nuclear weapons devil and revive him. It's still unclear what the motivation of the Famine Devil is, other than to cause chaos at this point, and of course we don't know the motivation of the Death Devil because apparently we haven't seen it yet, but again, more on that later. It is also implied that the combined members of the Four Horsemen are almost as powerful if not on par with the primordial fears, due to Makima being able to slightly wound the Darkness Devil. Now as for their appearance, it's important to note that while most devils we see in the series resemble monsters that carry traits of the fear they represent, these horsemen all appear to be completely human. One theory that might explain this is the fact that the devils that these horsemen represent are most Mostly all man-made fears. Humans are the cause of the fear of conquest or control. Humans wage war with one another, leaving famine and despair in its tracks and eventually leading to large-scale death as a result. This would lead to a devil taking on a human-like form, seeing as how the fear itself is derived from human activity. It's kind of playing on the whole concept of humans are the real monsters here. The horsemen also seem to have their own arsenal of devils under them. We see in Makima's battle with Denji, she called upon beings like the sword, flamethrower, and whip devils to help fight against Chainsaw Man. Similarly, at the beginning of part 2, Yoru alludes to the fact that at some point she lost the nuclear weapons devil to Chainsaw Man in their battle and there is some speculation that the famine devil is using both the eternity and the justice devils at this point, as we see that in the most recent chapter of Chainsaw Man, it appears that Denji and Asa are trapped in this endless aquarium, hinting that it might be the eternity devil again, which Denji even himself points out, but again that's not confirmed. And it also appears that the Justice Devil is very much involved in Denji's school, also trying to obtain his heart. And seeing as how the Famine Devil has been hiding behind the scenes also at Denji's high school, you can kind of put two and two together and see that they might be working together or the Justice Devil might be serving under Fami. Being a group of horsemen devils, it goes without saying that they'd be equipped with some insane powers. Makima, the Control Devil, is able to take control of anyone or anything that she deems to be inferior to her. She can control their minds and actions and even utilize her abilities. She also has other minor abilities like being able to use small animals as surveillance cameras in a way and being able to listen in on almost anything. Yoru the War Devil has the ability to turn anything she touches into a weapon. With the strength of the weapon correlating with the amount of guilt and grief that is felt from turning that item into a weapon. In simple terms, the stronger the guilt, the stronger the weapon. Turning a pencil into a weapon would result in a relatively weak tool, while turning a loved one into a weapon would give you something extremely 
extremely powerful. We haven't seen much of the Famine Devil in action, but what we have seen can give some idea of what her abilities are. We see in Asa's fight with Yuko, the Famine Devil is able to revive Yuko and turn her into this massive version of herself. We also see that she is able to teleport Yoru out of Asa's mind and trap her and Denji in an aquarium. It's also speculated that the Famine Devil is also behind this new fake Chainsaw Man that we've been recently introduced to, but it's yet to be seen if this is the case. My guess is that Fami has abilities that allow her to add or take away from something in many different ways. She could potentially power anyone up that she sees fit or remove things from people whether it be their abilities or aspects of their life that make them feel complete. But again, this is just my guess. Now as you all know, the only horseman left to be revealed is of course the Death Devil. Seeing as how the fear of death is probably one of the most common and intense fears amongst humanity, there is no doubt that this devil will be more powerful than anything we've seen in the series so far. I might go as far as to say that the death devil is more than likely also a primordial fear, and I'm going to go ahead and make an even bolder claim here and say that we might have already seen the death devil in the series on many occasions. There is a lingering theory in the community that the death devil is in fact Kobeni. I know it sounds insane, but there is some evidence that could prove it, so just, you know, bear with me here. In the scene where all of the devil hunters are eating at a restaurant after fighting the eternity devil, each new recruit is told to stand up, give their name, favorite hobby, and the devil they have a contract with. When it's Kobeni's turn to introduce herself, she points out that her devil is a secret. Now, the wording here is very important because if you didn't notice, she specifically says, my devil is a secret. When you would think she'd say something like, the devil I have a contract with is a secret. This means that there is a possibility that Kobeni doesn't have a contract with a devil, but is in fact serving as a host for a devil like Asa or even Denji. It's possible that the death devil took over Kobeni's body much like how Yoru did to Asa at the beginning of part 2. This could also explain the death and destruction that just seems to always follow Kobeni everywhere she goes. Her ability to survive all of these insane scenarios might be due to an ability from the death devil where when put in a situation where Kobeni would die, people around her take her place and absorb the damage, pretty much rewriting destiny in a way. This very much seems like an ability the death devil would have along with being able to instantly kill anyone or anything around it in its full power form. Much like how Denji is able to use the watered down abilities of Pochita, Kobeni might be inherently using the watered down abilities of the death devil, literally being able to control the life and death of any given human. So instead of being able to just, you know, look at someone and kill them instantly, the ability that Kobeni might have is being able just to kind of redirect the death that's coming her way to someone else. This idea was actually brought up to me by someone in the comments where I was talking about Kobeni's secret devil contract, but I couldn't find the exact comment, so I can't give the person credit here unfortunately but if you know who you are let me know below so i can at least ping you at the top of the comment section yes at this point the four horsemen theory is almost all but confirmed once we were introduced to the famine devil it's yet to be seen what fujimoto is planning for these four horsemen as the series goes along but knowing his incredible and chaotic writing style i cannot wait to see what he has in mind